Welcome back, Child of the Decider Havoc here, and we are back playing some more Forever Stranded Lost Souls. Let me tell you guys something. It feels like I have been, it's been forever since I've been on here. Um, I, so I've kind of explained all the pre-recording issues and stuff like that I had. Not issues, but how much I did. This one I happen to do a couple more episodes on. <clears throat> and so it's been, God, it's been almost a month since I've been on this pack. So I'm so excited to get back at it. Uh, the other ones I've been playing really, you know, a little bit more recently, uh, specifically SevTech, because when I pre-recorded everything, I hadn't started doing SevTech yet. And uh, then when I finally decided to start putting the stuff up, and long story short, it's been a while. But when we left off, we were working on our hemp, trying to get the um, the vertical windmill, I guess it was. You can see I've got quite a bit of hemp. I did figure out a better way to set up the... Um, the garden closure over here. Now I've switched it back over to a uh, wheat. So um, right now it's not running because I just don't have any uh, power running out of the furnace generator. But uh, actually, you know, what? I don't even need the speed upgrades in here. I literally just did that a minute ago. Um, so I just got the two water tanks in here because I did pick up my uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, cobblestone generator that I had over here. Uh, thanks to one of your guys's comments. And I've reset up my cobblestone generator over here, and I went with your advice, and went with the Tiny Progressions cobblestone generator. Now, all I did was put it right under the tr con drawer controller, and so it just kind of pumps into the system. And then if I ever need to upgrade it, um, I can just always pick it back up and upgrade it. But right now, I can't because I don't have the levels to... Oh, I was just on it. Um, I don't have the levels to uh, place it. So the next level, I believe, is this orange one, or it might be, no, the iron one, right? But if you look, I don't have the gathering yet. I'm only at uh, 15, and if I look at my gathering skills, I'm at 11. So I don't have the ability to put the next one down, but I don't think it really matters all that much. I mean, I currently have over 5,000 cobblestone in here, so I think we'll be good for a while. I didn't even realize I had that much. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Oh, and then, so... The other thing you had mentioned, and I, I still, I, I love the reference. You said the Soren drawers, right? So I would looked under actually additions and I found the crate you were talking about, the small storage crate. But the problem is I have to make this wood casing, which I can't do yet because I don't have wood siding. And the wood siding uh, comes from wherever that saw, this thing right here. And I don't have the saw yet. So I can't make the wood siding quite yet, but I did happen across a crate that's an abyssal craft, which is actually super easy to build. And it basically just adds like an extra row of storage and they can all stack next to each other. And where in the world are you at? Did, oh, I moved you right here. I'm like, I've got a missing crate here. Um, and so bang, we've got all the hemp fibers we need to get the vertical windmill done. So as a matter of fact, I'm gonna grab all this. I needed six stacks and I have nine left over. This was probably the longest grind I've ever done in regards to grinding something out on that stupid thing. It took me close to two hours of just standing above it and eating and just grinding away, but we've got it all. So no complaints here. Now let's go ahead and grab a stack of wood and let's look up this vertical windmill. Um, not vertical, vertical. Here we go. So it is eight of these which is planks, so I'm gonna need eight times three, which is 24 planks. That's six, 12, 18, 24, perfect. And then just shift click these. Oh, and I'm gonna need sticks, that's right. I did the short recipe so I didn't have to worry about it. So there's some sticks. So you, you, and you. And bingo, bingo, um, it's, that seems like it's too many. I'm going to click it all. I know I did my math. I am trusting my math right now. I mathed good. Eight of them. <laughs> I did math good. Cool. And now we've got the vertical windmill. Now over somewhere these guys. Okay. So yes, I got all my stuff kind of picked up, but I still don't know where anything is at. So I got to find the gearbox. Oh, so lucky. The gearboxes and the axles. I don't know 100% how these work, but we're going to go figure that out together right now. So I want an area to kind of do this in um, because I believe this vertical windmill is actually pretty big. And I'm thinking I might just fill this area in because I've got a big open space and I'm, I'm, I'm 
pretty sure this thing's pretty big. So let me go get some netherrack just to kind of clean up the area a little bit. And oh, not what are you doing? So netherrack, one of these has like a bunch in it. There it is. So we're just gonna go fill in this hole real quick and we're gonna kind of set this up as our better with mods area, at least for the time being. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of excited about this because this means I can start dipping into better with mods and getting a couple other things done, as well as it it should make certain building easier. I'm assuming uh, by the understanding I have of the way the mod works and stuff like that, I should be able to get into, um, oh, what's it called? Um, it's like thermal expansion stuff a little bit easier and uh, start making some of those machines so I can start some ore doubling and yeah, all that fun stuff. So just filling this hole in, not the most exciting stuff, but I don't think, I didn't think it was gonna take too long. So I just decided to keep recording while we did this. Uh, and then, yeah, hopefully I can figure out how this thing works. That's a lot of time. That's my problem. It's not getting the stuff. It's figuring out how it works once I get the stuff. And so we'll see. Oh, I knew you were gonna do that. These stupid fibers. Oh my God, Lost, uh, not also Sevtech has made me hate those fibers things so much because they're just everywhere. But they're kind of a necessity, so you can't get all that mad at them, right? Right. All right, cool. So hole filled. This is going to be our better with mods area, at least, like I said, for the moment. And there we go. Nice flat area to work on. This should be good. Nice open area right there. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is set down the gearbox because I believe this thing like traps onto the gearbox. Although this just looks like a okay. Um, do I I have a wrench? I did. That is the one thing I did organize. I put all of my tools in one chest. I'm gonna throw this fiber away real quick. Um, I did put all my tools into one chest, so that was something productive that I did do. <clears throat> However, I could have been more productive with some of this stuff. So. Um, it's chisels and bits, but it's a wrench, so I'm thinking it should work. I don't... I didn't even try clicking. Shift clicking on it. Oh, shift clicking works. Okay, cool. And then I, I'm thinking... I'm just trying to go with logic right now. Like that, right? And then... Does this go right on top? Um, a too few vertical axles in column to place here. Need seven. Okay, so two. Um, let me, can I jump on top of these? Will that work? Okay, let me, come on, get on top. There we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then place you. Two feet vertical aisles in column. Um, that is seven. Wait, hold on. I think, I think there's a better with mods book. I think I may have actually got it. I got a book recently um, when I made something, but that might have actually been actually additions. I made something. Um, oh, a knife. I made a knife, which we're going to look at it today. Okay, that's actually additions. Is there a better with mods book? There is. No, that's better questing. Um, huh. There's got to be a better with mods book, right? Uh, Yo-yos and you, materials and you, um, industrial, what, uh, leveled up, reloaded, there's books, cooking for blockheads, I know that one, extra utils, um, here it is, book, a gear in a book, I can make a book, I think, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I'm trying to remember the Tinker's recipe for... Oh, I already had stuff on me. <laughs> there we go. Oh, plenty of planks. Okay. And it's two of these with three pages. Oh, and I need that fibrous core thing. Um, that's what I'm missing. Oh, just book. It's the filament, which is glowstone, string, and redstone. That I should have some of. Glowstone... I may not have any redstone, actually. There's a... Oh, that's hemp fibers. Oh, yeah, I got a couple extra of those. Um, I might need to go make some redstone, which I believe is just sifting the sand. Um, 
but now where's my sand? Yeah, I do. I know. I got to get this organized. This is just nonsense right here. How unorganized all this stuff is. I know it is. But, you know, it takes a long time to get this stuff sorted once you've got it all crazy like this. Okay, so... I could just do leather. Let's go do leather instead. Um, leather scraps. I just need one piece, right? So, yeah. Instead of mining all those blocks up for redstone, looking for that, I have this on me. I can go ahead and throw this leather in here. I just need... Let me get the scraps out, too. Um... Where were the scraps at? This one? Yeah. I just need four scraps for a piece of leather. Hopefully I'll get lucky and I'll get three on the very first boot. Oh, spent so much time doing this thing right here. There we go. Three. I know I need one more. Um, yeah, getting that hemp, it was just, I think worth it. Uh, hopefully worth it. Once we get this windmill set up, if I can figure it out. But... Oh my gosh, it was so much work. There we go. Okay, cool. So let's craft up a book real quick. Or, I mean, a piece of leather. There we go. And then I can swap you guys out for you. What? Oh, it's tanned leather. Oh, that's a little bit more work. Okay, so this piece of leather in the millstone gives me that one. And then this one in the cauldron. Okay, we can do that. We can definitely do that. So let's put, where did the, oh, I left it over there. Like, where did the leather go? It's okay. This is, this is, this is, this is the stuff I actually do enjoy. Although the, the grindiness part kind of sucks, but this part I actually enjoy just because it's like, it's a new way to do stuff. It's not just leather, it's tanned leather, which means I gotta go put stuff in places and do stuff and things and stuff that I'm not necessarily used to. Now, somewhere around here, I remember I had some, of that tree bark stuff but where's the question it's probably now in one of these drawers i know i had it somewhere i just don't remember where <clears throat> although i could just get some really quick i know where my work blades at but if i've got some we should use it right no that's engineer's manual okay it's somewhere it's somewhere it's one of these last few chests no no, where are you? Where are you? I swear I had some. I'm pretty sure I had some, but it's okay. Let me grab my knife and we'll just do it this way. Um, you. I just need a little bit. Um, how many did I actually need? I need five of them or three of them. Five oak or three spruce. In interesting. That's just two birch and <laughs> interesting. Okay. So uh, one, two, three, four, five. And six for good measure, apparently. And we'll just do this with you guys. One, two, three. One, two, three. And shift right click. Hey, put that out. I'm doing work over here. It's funny that they all went out to the back side of it instead of coming like towards me. All right, cool. 25 of them. I think, I think we're good. Now, I will tell you that I did actually make something else in the meantime. It wasn't really important, nor was it super useful, but I did. Oh, that's where they were at. They were in the cauldron. Oh, jeez. Um, I did make this cauldron right here because I was trying to make some slime balls. And as I was looking up slime balls, I was like, hey, what are some recipes? Not that I could craft, but under cauldron, it was like, hey, put a magma cream in this cauldron and it'll become a slime ball. So I did it and I filled it up with water and I waited and then I used my little ladle here and took it out and I got a magma cream back. And I did this about three times in a row, thinking maybe it just needs to be longer and longer and longer. Then I noticed you have to fill it with different stuff. And this is Ovis Atre Milk. No idea what that is. No idea where to get it. But that's what it wanted me to have. So I didn't have it. So that cauldron is just kind of sitting there until I find a use for it later. Um, but yeah, okay. So there's our tan leather. Now we can make our book. And we can figure out how to set up this vertical windmill. Are you burning my wood? Don't burn my wood. Leave my wood alone. Okay. So tan leather book. What am I? This is what it be book. Is it shape crafting? Like seriously? My goodness. Sometimes that's just annoying. 
And I've got a wooden gear around here somewhere to make the book. Yeah, I will. I promise you guys right now, because this is getting annoying right now. Uh, I will organize these chests um, before next episode. I promise they will be in organized fashion. <clears throat> Let me put my knife back real quick, just so I don't forget about that. And there's a gear around here somewhere. I know there is. I made a couple just recently, actually. Ah, there it is. Okay. And you and you give me this book. Okay, cool. So let's check out this vertical windmill. This is learning, learning, learning. Tutorial progression blocks items. Um, I don't home. Uh, blocks maybe um, bellows filtered hopper saw millstone wood axle gearbox hanger gearbox hopefully it'll say like what it'll connect to new no. nope it doesn't do that um, let's see okay I'm 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 a little confused <sighs> crash course progression may oh windmill here we go okay the vertical windmill. That's what I want to get to. Um, apparently, it wants document not found. <laughs> uh, okay. Hold on. There should be a picture. Oh, okay. So, what we got here. Uh, the vertical windmill is also an option, which is a slightly more expensive windmill that needs... Um, a 9x7x9 nine by by nine area cleared with 7 vertical axles... I don't understand the seven vertical axles. I'm looking at this picture and that doesn't make sense to me. Um, seven vertical axles. It offers no advantages other than allowing different axle placement methods, but it sure does look fancy. Uh, you do know that if you have to try to place the axle off of this windmill directly, it breaks off. You need to have it directly hooked into its first gearbox. So, Maybe it has to be seven up and it'll go, I don't know. Let's let's go try that. So maybe that's what it's basically saying is the gearbox has to be seven up. We're going to figure this out. It's going to happen. Okay. So we need a nice clear area. It says nine by nine by or seven, which I think we should be good. I don't know if these vines are going to affect anything, but let's see. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to go one extra just to be safe. And then we're going to put a gearbox right here. And I want not to do that. And let me get an empty hand here. So I want your gear to be over here. There we go. And it should be clear. Now we're going to put off a couple axles. It had three in the picture. So I'm going to mimic that picture as well as I can. One, two. Oh, that's going to be hard to put it like that in it. I gotta get so lucky here. I'm gonna have to get lucky. That put it all the way on the ground down there? How'd that even happen? There we go. Two, three. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Now, this is where I'm just gonna drop down and do this again, like this. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot I had this. <laughs> I forgot about all about my slime boots. I was so worried about that fall. Um, So this is the picture. This is exactly what it showed me, right? And then, um, let me grab the planks instead. So out in front like this, we'll just go up right there. And can I place it? Well, now it's not even giving me the message. Now, now it's not giving me any message. Maybe it's because these blocks are here. I don't. This is how that thing's pictured, right? This is almost identical to how that thing's pictured. Gearbox here, pointing out one, two, three axles, and then the windmill. I'm utterly confused right now. How in the world? Hmm. Let's see. Maybe it's because the area is not clear. I don't know. 
This is so strange. Um, I, I'm at a loss right now. Like, I don't even know what else to do at this point. Um, because when I tried to do it like this, it's not saying anything. But if I put this pole right here and do this, then it says something about too few vertical axles in column to place here. But I went up seven and that didn't help either. Like that's seven up. Um, it still says it. Yeah, now like we're way up. What if I try this right? Let me put a block out to the side here. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna figure that, I mean, obviously it's gonna happen. We're gonna figure this out. But this block actually is probably not in a good place, yeah. Huh, let us put ourselves out a little bit further, like so, and try to do it from right here. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm going to pause right here. I'm going to go look this thing up and then we'll be back once I figure it out. Okay, so I think I have an idea. I've just got to clear out a little more area and get rid of some of these vines and stuff. Um, so... I'm gonna mark off my nine by nine. So we'll, we'll do it right around here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It looks like the vines are literally the only thing that's in the area and that's what's causing the problem. So I just need to go kill these vines uh, as high as I can get them. Um, these are what's probably blocking it from what I can tell. And if that's the case, it's kind of annoying, but now our nine by nine area should be clear. So right in the middle here, this is where we're going to put our box right here. Nope. Right here. And we are going to go ahead and let me get rid of all of this. I was clearing out. As you can see, I was clearing out the nether rack and stuff like that and uh, just picked up a whole bunch of it and I want to not have that in my inventory right now. Okay, cool. And I've got the axles right here. So, first thing is put you on top. You're going to be seven high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like that. Now, everything should be clear and I should be able to go bink, bink, bink. Where... In the world, is this ship in the way? The ship's in the way. Let's, let's just break some blocks this way. Yeah, let's just get it out of the way. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Um, so we're gonna have to move this way a little bit. How many blocks over is this? This is right here, it's so hard to tell. Um, there's one, there's two. Okay, so we just gotta move you over two. To right here, then are you gonna be clear? You'll be clear there, and you'll be clear there. Okay, wait, does one, will one be clear? No, that's definitely in the way. Okay, so we just gotta move you over two. And I just have to clear out some of this over here. So right in the middle here, um, two right there. That's two over, right? Yes. And then I just got to clear out you right here. So let's just vein mine some stuff up. Oh, do I need to fix my, my pick here? There we go. Vein mine. Just get that stuff out of the way. More coal. Now we look like we're clear. We're clear, we're clear, we're clear. Let me get these blocks picked up. This is so going to work now. I just know it. Things always work out for me. That's how the Minecraft world works for me. Everything just always works out. <clears throat> I hope you understand the joke there. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think I had to move forward, so I think I should be okay. Mm. Mm. What? There's no... The vines. The vines? No, the vines aren't there anymore. Vines are out of the way. 
One, two, three, four. This is nine. Nothing's in this area. Nothing's in this area. This isn't within four, is it? One, two, three, four. That would put me right here. Am I still within one? Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna break this block. That has got to be it right there. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. Now, if I understand this correctly, I put blocks. Oh, I guess it doesn't work to put it straight on the ground. They do go right where you place them. So there. Two. Three. Four. I can't put you there. I can't put you there. So I might need to put this thing a little bit higher. This is really kind of cool looking though. I like this. Um, well, if I can stand in it, like this doesn't interfere with anything. Let us go grab the millstone real quick and test it out. Oh my goodness. We got it. We got it. Mechanical power. Oh my gosh. Okay. So do I still have that hemp on me? I do. <laughs> hemp for days. This is what we're working on now. So if I put you right here, does that make you work? If I like throw the hemp in here, do you start working? Or does it have to be like in the bottom? I'm not seeing anything happen. So I'm assuming it has to go in the bottom. Let's try. I don't know if I can build up one more. If I put a gearbox right here, does that mean the power goes into there? And then I can put one of these here. Nope, and that interferes. Okay, so we want to make this go like maybe two higher so that I can do some work down here. Or maybe like three higher. I don't know. But that obviously made it stop. So let's build up real quick. I do have three more to try to make it go three higher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's make you one, two, three. And that gives me a working area, but let's do one extra just to make sure it's high enough. Okay. So that's three higher. All right. So you're clear. Can I take you back off? Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Do I get you back if I just do this? How do I get you back? This thing's just floating now. Okay. <laughs> that was interesting. Took a while. Did I get the... Okay, I was like, make sure I got it back. All right, so... Oh my gosh, where are these gas at? I don't even see any gas around. There's none on the map. What are making all the noise? Okay, so I did it two, three higher, right? So I added three so I can add the gearbox here, right? And put you back on my short one. Why am I missing one? Where's my, oh, there it is. I was like, why am I missing one here? There's that. So instead of putting it on this one, I want to put it on three higher. So one, two, three. So on this one, Why? Okay, well that's higher. Except that's still not high enough unless we go down one block. Um, well, I guess I got two more. I can go two lower. This is gonna get figured out. I think it's funny that it's working while floating in air and not even on a gearbox. Okay, so this is the block, right? Right here, okay. So we're gonna go one lower here. I don't mind just clearing out a row right here if I have to. Gearbox right there with one in. Why does that not look aligned? Okay. What in the world? I can't connect to this thing now? Maybe I can put it up top. Look at, there's a space up there too. 
This is so interesting to me. Um, hmm. I guess the windmill's doing its thing, so maybe I just need to put the gearbox on here. Maybe that's how that works. Right? Then I can put a gearbox right here with an axle in between. And I'm going to figure this out. This is going to happen. Okay, there we go. Okay, you seem to be going. You seem to be going. Okay. Now you. And I'll put another gearbox right here, apparently. I'm just going to have gearboxes everywhere for this one little machine. And one here. Okay. And then machine on top. Still clear. Hemp in. And it works. Okay. And I can kind of just branch off any other machines we want over here. Okay. I'm okay with this. <clears throat> um, I obviously need a collection center for this, but I'm okay with this. I'd like it to be a little bit lower. So maybe I can branch this one. Let's go look at making a couple more axles just to make it pretty. I mean, we're pretty much at the end of the episode right now anyways. So I think we're, you know, doing okay stuff. I just want to keep make a couple more axles. What's can I make axles? That's the question. Um, why can't I spell? There we go. What's the recipe? I need two wood and a rope to make one, and a rope is from six. Um, I've got some, quite a few. Okay, we can do this. You're grinding. That's really, really loud, but you're grinding. You're doing something. Oh my goodness. Okay. So let's take these and make three. There's three of those. And then planks like that to make some axles. Okay, so there's four. So if I can get this set up pretty, then I can kind of start getting a prettier setup for the future. But this is more just, you know, getting it working right now and looking nice while it's doing it. So let's see, let's, let's go and pick you back up real quick. I want to get them all down to ground level if I can, if I can get them down to ground level, that'd be awesome. So I need to go down two farther, right? One, two. And there we go. All right. So it's going to be. Right here, yeah. So here, axle, axle, except this is set to the wrong side. So that's inlet, okay. And then this is outlet, okay, cool. And then we wanna set the inlet to right there and outlet to right there. And put our millstone right there, right in the ground, I love it. And let's put some netherrack right around it, like so. Blocked. Does it have to be clear around because it's such a pain? Is that what is that is that what you're trying to tell me? You're such a pain, you can't have stuff on your sides? Hey, give me that back. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Do I need to put one more axle and put you up on top here? So I can't force you to come out on top? And you're still going to go to random places and be annoying? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Well, it's milling. Oh my goodness. It's it's milling. I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy. I guess, looking at the way I did this, I could have left this block down on the ground. Um, I just couldn't have it one higher. Yeah, because it could have been down here and I could have done all that. on. Yeah, um, I, I'm so pumped about this. This is so much faster than that stupid handle. And now I can start looking at things like the sawmill. Can I? I'm going to wait a second because I do want to kind of get this done um, just because there was an achievement that I was looking at. So getting caught up on the achievements, right? We already know we're pretty much done uh, with survival. Uh, Ex Nihilo is just little things that I haven't you know, done yet. But the better with mod stuff. So I got a credit for a couple things. 
Um, <clears throat> the gearbox, just because I had them, so I'm claiming that one. The vertical windmill, we just made it, so you guys know that. And then I just happened to grab some leaves and sticks uh, when I was uh, making some water or whatever, and apparently that was part of the thing, so I got credit for it. So we'll go ahead and claim those. But there is things like the um, uh, the the saw. Where's the saw? Wait, did I make the saw? Did did I make the saw? I don't remember making the saw, but it's very likely that I could have. Um, oh, that, you know what? I think I made it what a couple episodes ago. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've recorded, so uh, bear with me that I don't remember that. But I didn't, it didn't, yeah, there it is. It didn't use the um, the hand crank. So I had to do it a different way. I am now remembering that. Okay, so can I put you like right here? And just branch you over a little bit. Yep, so you're spinning there, cool. And then I can put another gearbox. right here like so and I gotta switch that side to in right and then go make a couple more and I, oh my gosh oh my gosh better myth mod you're about to start rocking you are about to start rocking um, I just need to make up some more which I've got now plenty of this eight ropes and then it was just you with some of these like so eight axles and I can put the saw. Oh my gosh. And just rope for days. Or string for days. Or whatever you want to call this stuff. Alright. And then you like that. And like that. And then do I just place the saw on top of you? Like that. Oh, that's interesting. Oh yeah, that works. That was really loud. This is all really, really loud. Um, I remember reading something about it being redstone controlled. So I might go put a lever on this guy right here. Let me go get a lever real quick. Or do I have any stone? I don't. I was like, let me go make a real quick lever so I can turn that off so I don't have to hear it right now. Um, you and you. And let's see if this works. Oh my goodness. Better with mods. Oh, I'm excited about this. This is some developing stuff right here. Like this is, this is, you know, set in the right direction. So if I put a lever on you, you shut off, which means the two of you stop working and it's quiet. Okay, cool. Now I'm just, this blade right here looks relatively dangerous in my opinion and edible bugs. You're not cooked. What happened to my bread? Did I eat all my bread? Nope. I got Val's bread right there. Okay. I don't remember eating all my bread, but I want to test this theory out. It just looks dangerous. Okay, yeah, no, it it definitely hurts. It definitely hurts. But if I read correctly, it's just, and it cuts them in half. That's really cool. And these can be used not only as like slabs, but on the side as well. Oh my gosh. Now what happens if I put you here? Okay, I get, what'd I get? Moldings? And moldings become corners and corners become gears well okay that's a cheap way to make some gears i like that now i just got to put figure out a way to keep me from walking into that blade but let's go ahead and turn you guys off right now that is awesome oh i'm so excited we've got power we've got mechanical power oh definitely some more better with mod stuff coming up soon Oh my goodness. Well, guys, I I'm, I know I stretched a little bit further than I had intended, but you know what? I'm okay with a little bit further if it, you know, gets us completed with quests and stuff like that. Um, now we can start looking at some of this other stuff like, well, the turntable, for, for, first of all. Oh, and there's one thing I want to do. I made this knife here, right? Um, right here. Let me... Let me do what I hate doing. Guys, I promise it's going to be all organized by next episode. I promise. I'm going to get this all organized. Um, but for right now, I'm just throwing stuff back. Um, just clearing out my inventory really quick. Uh, just for the sake of what I want to just get stuff out of my inventory. Yeah. Let's just get all that stuff out. Go away. All of you guys, go away. 
I'll figure you guys all out later. Um, in the way of making fertilizer, right? I don't get a lot of bones down here in the nether. I got to go like take on withers and stuff like that. However, I was looking up fertilizer and I do want to do this before we're done. And fertilizer is made in a compost with biomash, right? Now biomash, I think I put, I made some already. I've got so many apples from this guy. Let me grab a whole stack and put just you back. Okay. And then I take this little knife right here and every food gives you kind of a different amount, but I can put the knife with the food and like each apple is going to give me one biomash. So now I've got 64 plus the 14 I had and there, and the knife's there. Now I need to make a composter and this thing was like super simple to make. Um, composter right here. It was just wood. Oh, it's got the wood casing. Oh, but I can make that now. Oh my gosh, I got wood. I can, oh, look at this. Oh, I get to use my stuff. Oh my God, I didn't even realize it when I did it. Oh, and I can start making crates. I can make the crate you were talking about now. Right, 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 right. That's what I need to make, crate. I need the wood casing, which is planks and those. So I need eight of those, one of those to make those. Oh my goodness. Yes, we're gonna have these much, much large store crates. So those ones aren't gonna last very long, but let's make up. A couple for right now. I'm really curious as to how loud that is for you guys on the recording side of things, because it is really loud in my headphones. I don't know if my 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 volume's going up while I'm doing it because it is so loud. Um, okay, so let's make a wood casing real quick. I guess we'll make two, and then I need to surround this with planks. And there's composter. Cool. And I'm going to go set this. Well, we'll set it right here for right now. Go away. So you guys right there. And then all I do is put this stuff in. Okay. So there's 64. And so apparently this is going to make me fertilizer. I don't know how long it takes. There's no, like I can't shift click out once it's in, it's in. So I guess that'll do it, but that'll start getting us fertilizer for this guy. So this can be more productive. And yes, in the meantime, we are going to make some of those crates. I kind of want to go do it right now. I kind of want to do it right now. Let's do it. Let's turn this guy back on. I've never had the actually additions crates. So I know I'd mentioned it to you guys before, or uh, I mean, not necessarily before, but hey, did you eat my wood? Okay, cool. There's eight of them. Turn you back off. Shh. Quiet. Thank you. Okay. And run back over here. Yeah, that is really loud. And we will make one of these wood casings. Oh, I'm going to need a little bit more wood. Like so. And then this is going to go in the middle of four chests and four planks. I can do that. One, two, three, four. And I'm sure I've got tons of chests sitting around here that they're all in different drawers. Like there's two there, there's four there, there's three there. Like literally I just kind of put them wherever I was at at the moment. So I promise you guys, I'm trying to get this all cleared out. There's three there. And, and it, it'll be all cleaned and organized now that I've got what I believe from the way it was explained to me are from pretty sick chests, actually. Um, they hold a lot of storage as far as I understand. And there, they hold a lot of storage from what I understand. And they're like, they're bigger than these guys, but like they fit and I can stack them side by side. Oh, oh, hello. I did not know you were that big. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love. Thank you, Vertical Windmill. I wonder if this would upgrade it, but I don't worry about that right now. We're going to keep you rocking and rolling and doing your thing. I've got an extra axle up there. And let's check out these loot chests. Hay bales. Not all that useful, but fun. Uh, storage upgrades. Always useful. Watering can basic. Not horrible. There's worse things to get. And some fertile potions. All right, cool. Now... I know we didn't get a lot done, but we got some done and I am super excited about it. So until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I'm Slaughter Havoc and I'm out of here. Peace. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy.